Hey, Clayton here. So in today's video, I'm actually going to teach you how to put a YouTube video, a Vimeo video, or a Facebook video onto your Shopify store, whether it's in a product page or in a normal page that you actually build out. So I'm going to teach you how to embed it into your website. So let's get into it. When you're on your main screen of Shopify, what you actually want to do is you want to click products. Um, if you're going to put it on a normal page, you just want to click online store then page and then select the page that you want to put it into. But for this example, we're actually going to do it on a product. So when you actually go into products, I've actually, this is just a test store that I've built and I have this test product. So you just want to click on the product that you actually want to put it on a YouTube video onto or a video onto. And then when you're actually in the description just here, what you actually want to do is you want to normally what I actually do is I put all the content in first and then go back and add all the images and YouTube videos. It just makes it a little bit easier because when you have an image or a video in this description, it's quite large. So it just makes it easier if you do it that way. So when you actually work out where you want to put the YouTube video, you just click where you want it. You can center it if you want. So this little alignment and press center. Um, just however you want it really and then you just click insert video and now it's actually asking you for embedded code so what you actually have to do is go to whichever um, wherever you want the video to come from so YouTube so you actually click on the video that you want to select and then it has this little button here that says share now you want to click that share button then it says embedded here and you want to actually click that button and then it actually gives you this code here. So you just want to click on it and then press copy. And then we want to go back over to our Shopify store and then you just paste in the code there. Then press insert video. And now we actually have the YouTube video here. So if we just save this, I'll actually give you an example. Um, the thing with Vimeo and Facebook, it's a little bit different. So I'll get into that in a sec. So if we actually view our product now, we have the little YouTube video here. So we've got product description and the video here. Um, super important, especially on products, is to actually build out the description. So I would actually have some um, couple of sentences, maybe an image, a video, another couple of sentences, maybe some bullet points, and then another image. Um, really put some effort into those product descriptions. Now, if we actually want to add a Vimo video, if we go to Vimo, it has this little share button here. You just click that. And then see where it says embedded here. You just click there. Pretty much similar and just copy it. And then we go back over to Shopify. And then we just click this insert video. And then paste in the embedded code there. And press insert video. So now we actually have that Vimo video. Now with Facebook, it's a little bit different. So if we actually go onto a video on Facebook, um, it actually has this share button, but we actually don't press the share button on Facebook. That's why it's a little bit different. So we just press these little dots here, and then we go up to where it says embedded. And then copy and paste your code into your website. So we just wanna click this, and then copy that code. And then we actually go back to our Shopify store. Um, same as before, we press insert video. And then we just paste in that embedded code there. And then press insert video. And voila, now we have some videos. Um, let's actually save this and have a look. And then view product. So you can see we've got the Facebook video here. We've got the Vimo video here. We've got the um, YouTube video here. Now, the one thing with Vimo um, that I forgot to mention is see how it's got all this here. Sometimes Vimo actually puts all this stuff, information into the page. So what you have to do is it will just underneath it, just delete that line and then press save. And then if we actually view the product now, that writing will not be there and it'll just be the video. I'm not actually sure why Vimo does that, um, but yeah, it's just something to remember.
Now, personally, what I would actually do when you're doing this, I wouldn't have a mixture of like Vima, YouTube, Facebook videos. Um, I would actually, if, you, if you're just going to have one, I would actually just have YouTube. Um, it's all free and stuff like that. It looks really neat. And just make sure you break up the videos with some text in the middle, maybe an image sort of thing like that, if you're actually going to have a few videos. Um, so that's, that's it for now. And now you know how to put a YouTube, Vimo, and Facebook book, uh, video into your website. So good luck with it all. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye.